Hello and welcome to Real Time Signals. Today we are going to discuss about RTOS. As it stands, Real Time Operating System. RTOS is required for real time application. For example, in automotive, where airbag has to be deployed on time, or radar to detect obstacles, or in aeroplane to detect a situation and deploy an autopilot or in communication systems where symbol speed has to be matched for the user requirement or in el electronic items. Operating system which is specifically for real-time application has got time critical task which means here if the task doesn't get over within the deadline it is going to declare as a system crash which means time predictability. That's the basic difference between an RTOS and a general purpose operating system. RTOS is mostly used in embedded system programming. Examples of RTOS are Free RTOS, ThreadX, RT Linux, PXWorks, ECOS, and there are so many others. Let's See, what do we need to do in RTOS? We need to do multitasking. We need to have predictable behavior because deadline is considered very seriously here. And we have to also do a footprint. Like basically RTOS is going to be deployed on embedded application, which is having very less memory. And most likely RTOS is going to sit into your internal memory. So here the, the size of your memory is going to be about few KBs. So let's go on and discuss more about the difference between RTOS and general purpose. So the RTOS, as I told you before, RTOS has time critical task. So for that, we need to have preemptive kernel and we need to have priority based scheduling. This is how you can achieve the time criticality. That's the basic difference between GPOS and RTOS. In GPOS, you may have a non preemptive kernel and the scheduler can be a round robin scheduler or you may have a priority base that is an optional here but in RTOS you got to have priority based scheduling because some of the priority based task has to finish within the time and it has to be preemptive because some of the critical tasks can may require attention at that time and the difference in memory as I told before RTOS require few KBs but GPOS may require MBs, thousands of MBs. So that's more quite likely for Windows or for Linux, all that operating system, which are general purpose operating system. And then there is memory management unit. In case of normal GPOS, you require memory management unit because you got to run a lot of applications and they may be running parallelly. They may not have priority, but in RTOS, you may not require that complicated MMUs.